Well, right now at noon, we have an update to the multiple people shot and killed in Broad Ripple over the weekend. Just a few hours ago, the Marion County Coroner's Office identified two of the victims. 24 year old Taiwan Henning and 22 year old Kalia Preer were both shot and killed. This afternoon, we are hearing the emergency radio traffic for the first time as police rushed to Broad Ripple. Control 367, the flight has dispersed for now. You good? Good. Control 367. Shot fired where? Police tell us hundreds of people were out during the time of the shooting. In fact, if you take a look at your screen, this is security footage from Indy e Sigs in Broad Ripple. The owner tells me it captured people running right after shots were fired. Now, right now, the Broad Ripple Village Association is asking the city to make this area a gun-free zone on Fridays and Saturdays throughout the end of August. Mayor Joe Hogsett says this is something he believes will help along with working with business owners. Holding business owners uh, who are acting irresponsibly accountable for the decisions that they make, I think will change the culture uh, of the city of Broad Ripple, and we intend to do that. Now, IMPD says they plan to meet with the Broad Ripple Village Association to see how the gun-free zone would work. They hope to have it enforced starting this weekend. Now, Republican mayoral candidate Jefferson Street released a statement saying the mayor's plan isn't enough. He says while he agrees with Mayor Hogsett's broad ideas and principle, quote, finger pointing supplements, practical steps like additional cameras in places like Broad Ripple Avenue or hiring a public safety director to ensure accountability across city government.